Hey fellow YouTubers, thought I'd just videotape the process that I'm going through to check the fuse sending unit of my 1987 Fiero GT. I was having some problems with the gauge itself not reading accurately, so I was also suffering from a leak in the gas tank, so I bought a new O-ring to seal the tank and to make sure that the tank itself wasn't leaking in other areas. I pulled the uh, fuel sending unit and this is a Walbrol 255 uh, liter per hour fuel pump that I installed many years ago with the original um, fuel sending unit right here. And I just thought I'd go over the process to check the fuel sending unit. The fuel sending unit is rated from zero to 90 ohms with I believe zero when the tank is empty and the float is in this position and 90 when the tank is full uh, and that would be uh, the float in that being that in that position the fuel filter being here the top of the tank being here and of course the fuel filter being at the very bottom of the pump so this would be when the tank is full and when the arm is down that's when the fuel tank is empty I'm going to go ahead and switch on the meter and I've got it set to uh, 200 ohms here the, being the minimum amount for this particular unit here and I've got the negative lead which is the black here connected to the ground here on this particular apparatus as you can see these two wires here connected to the fuel pump and then it's grounded and of course the other gray wire I believe would be power uh, running to a relay and so what we're going to do is test for the resistance when the arm is down or when the tank is empty and I believe it should read pretty close to zero if it's not then you have a problem then of course if the arm is all the way up and it's not close to 90 then that's another problem and you may want to take apart this area here and and clean it but be careful because the wires are relatively thin so I've got the ohm meter switched on and I'm just going to touch the lead as you can see the, the negative is clipped here to the ground and the positive here um, and it should be reading uh, close to zero it's 8.6 right now which is not zero 7.5 And I'm just going to pause the video right here uh, to see if uh, I can figure out a way to hold the camera or to clip the positive lead to this um, part of the fuse sending unit here so I could use my other hand to actuate the float. Okay, we're back and we've got about uh, just a sheet under 6 ohms at the base reading right here, uh, which is, you know, an empty tank. And then as the fuel level raises or rises and the float rises, you will see the ohm meter begin to rise as the resistance increases. And according to the manual, it's supposed to stop at 90, close to 90. And it's at 98.5, which is not too bad. It's not that far off from 90. You bring it back down and it's supposed to go to zero. As you can see, it just gets to 8. So we're off about 8 ohms altogether. See, it's up 8.5 there at the top. And then back down about 8.5, 8.3. So I'm going to open this by lifting a couple of these tabs and seeing if I can somehow clean that off. I might even just leave it and try to use, you know, uh, Chevron... Tecron fuel system cleaner to um, to clean this off and make for a better contact.